Hi, I'm Sarah Wyatt. I'm Senior Curator at the National Motor Museum and I'm going to talk to you about a film called Switch Over, which is made in 1940 by the Ford Film Unit. This is one of the 50 objects that we have chosen to tell the story of motoring in 50 objects. And uh, this exhibition ties in with the 50th anniversary of the National Motor Museum being uh, opened in 1972. So the film Switch Over is um, fairly sort of uh, typical of its time, uh, a keep calm and carry on style of um, patriotic film that was made around this period. It's very well made. It's got some great music from the London Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> And it follows a fictional character called Bill Tennyson. Now Bill is supposed to be a worker at the Dagenham plant for Ford and uh, you see him before the war and then when war is declared he has to send his family off to the country to protect them and the factory is turned over to wartime production of trucks and vans and things to support the war effort. The um, male workers, not having their wives at home, can't feed themselves, of course. So um, the factory has to provide a canteen service to keep them going in hot meals. Dagenham Factory was a prime bombing target to try and stop production in that area. So they had to camouflage a glass roof, paint it over and, and put camouflage nets on it to try and disguise it. They also had um, patrols day and night to try and safeguard the workers. The uh, production was increased, shifts were lengthened, and everyone pitched, and even in an, in an air raid, they carried on working. And uh, they produced over 500,000 trucks and tractors to help with the war effort during, during the period of, of the Second World War. It's a great film and it shows how industry responded, particularly the motoring industry, responded to the um, war effort and how, how they turned their machines to, to helping uh, the Allied forces to ultimately win the war.